Except it's not a good morning because today I'm leaving. I'm leaving Malaysia. I'm leaving Susan. Oh goodness, Susan. <laughs> you have enough stuff there? <laughs> this is why you shouldn't treat me so much. So you have, you have a backpack, you have a front pack, mm. you have a roller pack, you mm. have two plastic bags, and a makeup case, and a phone. Carry my phone. <laughs> okay. Oh, the sacrifices I make for our ah! relationship. I can do this. <laughs> favorite part of the trip? So many to choose just one. What was yours? Mine? Probably the island. Yeah, it was... You love swimming, huh? Yeah. I, I, I love the beach and swimming and that had both. I really, really love the cat village. <laughs> I've never seen you so happy before. You were like, yeah, like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. And you're basically a cat in human form, so it's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> so that's not concerning at all. They basically said like, look, we can give you a ticket to Shanghai, and then basically 
you'll have to get yours to Los Angeles there. Yeah. See, this is only, I only have a ticket to go to Shanghai. Is this not your boarding pass? It's my boarding pass to go to Shanghai. Once I'm in Shanghai, I, I need to go and get another one to go to LA. Oh, really? Because back in like LA, I got both boarding passes at once. Okay, so you think everything will be okay? I'm just nervous about everything because that's my personality. Susan can attest to that. We are the I didn't video it because it was very personal. I, I gotta get to my cave. My flight leaves in an hour. So, uh, such a mess. I'm trying to hold myself together. I'm so trying, but I'm sure not succeeding. I'm just, it wasn't until like we actually split up our hands that it hit me. like the last, I don't know, 20 minutes just texting with her back and forth. Basically just, I mean, you can guess what we're saying. But it's not quite the same. Okay. I think I've, I think I've calmed down a little bit. I feel a little bit better, uh, more relaxed. Um, Shanghai, here I come. Long time no see. <laughs>
Now the struggle is going to be staying awake for this whole time. As well as, you know, getting my boarding pass. Because I still don't have one for LA. And I'm gonna need that. Conditioning has warmed me up. Well, I was successful in getting my boarding pass after going through a little bit of a, a tangled mess, um, which I would have shown you, except there were giant signs everywhere saying no cameras, no cameras, no cameras, and I don't want to become like an international criminal, you know? So, it is 7 a.m. right now, and my flight back home leaves at 8 p.m. So I got a whole day to kill. Thank you. I've also never fallen asleep uh, in an airport before. Today's just like a day of goodbyes and firsts. This is the longest 15 hours of my life. <laughs> yeah. You know, basically living in an airport for a day teaches you a lot of things. Like how to never take laying in your own bed for granted or even just laying down at all. Doing anything besides standing up and sitting in uncomfortable seats. I am so looking forward to sleeping in my own bed tonight. I'm so looking forward to that. I'm also back at the same place I got lunch today. Got the exact same meal. Because it's cheap. <laughs> and when you are constantly converting currencies from US dollars to ringgits to yuan, you lose a lot each time. And so now I have like basically no more money. This has been such a good trip though. Such an amazing trip. And I'm so grateful for every minute. So you know, you've seen enough like first class, business class seat reviews on YouTube, thanks to Casey Neistat. So I'm gonna give you an economy class one, ready? You get a fantastic cheap pillow and blanket and that's it. Neither of which I'm going to use. No, I'm gonna just break my neck. <laughs> Let's do this. LA. Home, here I come.
I just realized I fell asleep. For the takeoff, we were, I just sat down in my chair and then I opened my eyes and we were in the air. And now for landing. Oops. But we're here, home. Is this the wrong way to go? Oh, there's that gorgeous lack of humidity right there. <laughs> It's good to be at home. What an incredible, mind-blowing, unforgettable trip of a lifetime. I probably could wax on and on about how I'll never forget even a single moment, and I loved it with every fiber of my being, but it's really tired and I have literally had a long day. I saw the sunset on the 27th of January twice. So I'm just gonna... Yeah. But thanks for joining me on this on this little uh, adventure. The first time I've ever been outside of the United States and the first time I've ever been with my internet girlfriend. So that was amazing. In summary, it was the trip of a lifetime.